French man passed away on the island of St. Barts. Patrick became an icon thanks to his work with Vogue and Harper's Bazaar and was perhaps best known outside of fashion circles as the late Princess Diana's personal photographer. I am grateful to have been lucky enough to be in front of your lens. Most gentle, most legendary, soft but full of life. You will be missed Patrick. Rest in peace, supermodel Bella Hadid wrote on social media. Famed fashion and portrait photographer Patrick de Marchelier died on March 31st at 78. Page 6 and other outlets reported that the Frenchman passed away on the island of St. Barts. Patrick became an icon thanks to his work with Vogue and Harper's Bazaar and was perhaps best known outside of fashion circles as the late Princess Diana's personal photographer. I am grateful to have been lucky enough to be in front of your lens. Most gentle, most legendary, soft but full off life. You will be missed Patrick. Rest in peace, supermodel Bella Hadid wrote on social media. Wife Kelsey, with whom he shares children aged 1 and 2, confirmed on Instagram. Tom was 33. It is with the heaviest of hearts that we confirm Tom passed. Away peacefully earlier today with all of his family by his side, Kelsey wrote. Our hearts are broken, Tom was the center of our world and we can't imagine. Life without his infectious smile and energetic presence. We are truly thankful for the outpouring of love and support and ask that we all unite to ensure. Tom's light continues to shine for his beautiful children. Thank you to everyone who has supported in his care throughout, he fought until the very end. I am forever proud of you. Tom Parker, one of the singers in the boy band The Wanted, died on March 30 after a two-year battle with the brain cancer glioblastoma, wife Kelsey. With home he shares children aged 1 and 2 confirmed on Instagram. Tom was 33. It is with the heaviest of hearts that we confirm Tom passed away peacefully. Earlier today with all of his family by his side, Kelsey wrote. Our hearts are broken, Tom was the center of our world and we can't imagine life without his infectious smile and energetic presence. We are truly thankful for the outpouring of love and support and ask that we all unite to ensure Tom's light continues to shine for his beautiful children. Thank you to everyone who has supported in his care throughout, he fought until the very end. I am forever proud of you. Hitmaker, who appeared opposite Anne Margaret in the 1963 movie Bye Bye Birdie and inspired Riddle High's name in the hit film Grease, was 79. His Cause of death was complications of pneumonia, a spokeswoman told the New York Times. 1960s teen idol Bobby Riddle died on April 5th, media outlets in his hometown of Philadelphia confirmed. The Wild One and Volaire hitmaker, who appeared opposite Anne Margaret in the 1963 movie Bye Bye Birdie and inspired Riddle High's name in the hit film Grease, was 79. His cause of death was complications of Pneumonia, a spokeswoman told the New York Times. Don't borrow from the bank, borrow from yourself. Add lending tree. Slideshow continues on the next slide. Don't borrow from the bank, borrow from yourself. Add lending tree. Toy Story Films died on April 2nd in Palm Desert, California, of natural causes, her family confirmed to deadline. She was 93. It is with the greatest. Remorse and sadness to announce that Estelle Harris has passed on this evening at 6.25 p.m., son Glenn Harris said. Her kindness, passion, sensitivity, humor, empathy and love were practically unrivaled, and she will be terribly missed by all those who knew her. Actor Jason Alexander mourned her on social media, writing, One of my favorite people has passed, my TV mama, Estelle Harris. The joy of playing with her and relishing her glorious laughter was a treat. I adore you, Estelle. Love to your family. Serenity now and always. Estelle Harris, the actress who played George Costanza's mother, Estelle, on Seinfeld and voiced Mrs. Potato Head in Disney's Toy Story films, died in April 2nd in Palm Desert, California, of natural causes, her family confirmed to deadline. She was 93. It is with the greatest remorse and sadness to announce that Estelle Harris has passed on this evening at 6.25 p.m., son Glenn Harris said. Her kindness, passion, sensitivity, humor, empathy and love were 
practically unrivaled, and she will be terribly missed by all those who knew her. Actor Jason Alexander mourned her on social media, writing, One of my favorite people has passed, my TV mama, Estelle Harris. The joy of playing with her and relishing her glorious laughter was a treat. I adore you, Estelle. Love to your family. Serenity now and always. Reported that he died at the Casa Medina Bogota Hotel, a Four Seasons property, in Bogota, Colombia, where the band was scheduled to perform at a festival. Later that day, the Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. His musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever, his bandmates wrote on Instagram. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member, who previously played drums for Alanis Morissette and also had his own band, Taylor Hawkins and the Coattail Riders, was 50. On March 26, Columbia's Attorney General's office released a preliminary forensic medical study report indicating that a preliminary toxicology test discovered 10 substances in the rocker's urine including THC, tricyclic antidepressants, benzodiazepines and opioids. The AG's office continues to investigate to determine Taylor's cause of death as Hollywood mourns the beloved rocker, a married father of three. Taylor Hawkins, the drummer for the Foo Fighters, died on March 25 during a South American tour with his band. The New York Post reported that he died at the Casa Medina Bogota Hotel, a Four Seasons property, in Bogota, Colombia, where the band was scheduled to perform at a festival later that day. The Foo Fighters. Family I devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. His musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us. Forever, his bandmates wrote on Instagram. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member, who previously played drums for Alanis Morissette and also had his own band, Taylor Hawkins and the Coattail Riders, was 50. On March 26, Columbia's Attorney General's office released a preliminary forensic medical study. Report indicating that a preliminary toxicology test discovered 10 substances in the rocker's urine including THC, tricyclic antidepressants, benzodiazepines and opioids. The AG's office continues to investigate to determine Taylor's cause of death as Hollywood mourns the beloved rocker, a married father of three. Confirmed, she was 84. The famed diplomat and champion of democracy, who guided America's foreign relations in the wake of the Cold War, first served as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations during President Bill Clinton's first term before ascending to her cabinet role, a position that made her the top-ranking woman in the history of the U.S. government at the time. Madeleine Albright, the first female U.S. Secretary of State, died from cancer in Washington, D.C., on March 23, her family confirmed. She was 84. The Famed diplomat and champion of democracy, who guided America's foreign relations in the wake of the Cold War, first served as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations during President Bill Clinton's first term before ascending to her cabinet role, a position that made her the top-ranking woman in the history of the U.S. government at the time. Earned three more Academy Awards nods for his work in Children of a Lesser God, Broadcast News and a History of Violence, died of natural causes on March 13, Variety reported. He was 71. In more recent years, a new generation of fans got to know him as General Thaddeus Ross in Marvel's Avengers films. The big chill and body heat actor William Hurt, who won an Oscar for his performance in Kiss of the Spider Woman and earned three more Academy Award snods for his work in Children of a Lesser God, Broadcast News and a History of Violence, died of natural causes on March 13, Variety reported. He was 71. In more recent years, a new generation of fans got to know him as General Thaddeus Ross in Marvel's Avengers films. Family Values announced that Tracy was dead after a cancer battle. She was 50. We have come to a time where we must inform the public that after a Year of privately undergoing a series of treatment for esophageal cancer our beloved Tracy Braxton has gone on to glory, her husband, Kevin Surratt, said in a statement. 
Sister Toni Braxton took to Instagram to mourn, writing on behalf of her family, she was a bright light, a wonderful daughter, an amazing sister, a loving mother, wife, grandmother and a respected performer. We will miss her dearly. On March 12, the family of singer-actress Tracy Braxton, who appeared with her famous sisters on the reality TV show Braxton Family Values, announced that Tracy was dead after a cancer battle. She was 50. We have come to a time where we must inform the public that after a year of privately undergoing a series of treatment for esophageal cancer our beloved Tracy Braxton has gone on to glory, her husband, Kevin Surratt, said in a statement. Sister Tony Braxton took to Instagram to mourn, writing on behalf of her family, she was a bright light, a wonderful daughter, an amazing sister, a loving mother, wife, grandmother and a respected performer. We will miss her dearly. Dennis Rodman's net worth stuns his family. Add Cash Roadster. Slideshow continues on the next slide.